Welcome back to FTL, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is a five-minute burst. Let's play. Or in this case, let's get in trouble. We've got hull breaches, multiple of two. We've got a boarding drone, which is causing me endless problems. It keeps nulling my shields out, which is why we ended up with lots of damage. So these guys have only triple shot, so, but their uh, synchronicity is in line. Oh, no, that one helped. We cleared through that one. Um, can't really send my team into this guy to knock that out because he's in there. Alright, get in there and knock that out. In the interim, my guns should be coming back online now, so I can start rechaining that up. Just leave that on auto fire. Um, I might get lucky with the timing and also be able to do some more damage with this, but I think we're just okay for now. In the interim, I would like to grab a pair of NGs, park you in that room in the short term. Because I would really like you to repair this room. I'll take that as well. Done. Get out of there. You guys in there. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, health's back up. Um, return to your stations. Teleport team. Make me happy. Good, the guns are down at last. That's going to make life significantly easier. Grab the command on that one, let this one fire first. Yay, crew dead, lots of scrap. Ship, upgrade, shields, accept, two points. Done. Jumping, uh, no, 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 thank you for the reminder game. That would have been embarrassing to have done that again. Quickly in the interim, you two get there and fix this. Um, how far are we through the game? Sector 5. Alright, we're getting there, so we, there's a chance we might want it, but given the amount of beatings my guys are taking, I am going to spend the point and upgrade this so that I can take a point off there and get these people healing that much quicker. Speaking of which, get in there and close all the doors. Yep, okay. Return to your stations. Yep, okay, you'll heal as we go. No. Grand. Jump. Down. Mm. What are we going to fire? Intervene to defend the outpost. Yes, I am going to intervene to defend the outpost. Automated ships. So there's absolutely twin beam drones, a stunner, and a missile launcher. Alright, well I'm going to deploy both kill power to that. Deploy a combat drone. Order fire is on. Get their shields down. Alright, that's that one down. So hopefully this ion's not going to be enough for it to get through our shields. Yep, okay, so we took an ion blast, but it didn't get through our shields as we wanted. Just get power on those guns for now. Damage on those guns. Good, they're down. Now fire on that. The drone should do the rest of the work. Just that little bit of extra nudge, knocking their tap, just tapping their shields just a little bit, makes a lot of difference. Particularly as we just pop one of their drones. Nice. Makes a lot of difference because it means that when your volley of fire comes in, it's just that much more likely to get through. And then we accidentally ironed one of their drones. Done. Nice, that was a nice, quick, simple little cheap fight. Uh, got our drone back, so we're neutral with that, got the fuel back, and we got a smattering of things. And yep, yeah, drone up, and a missile up. Should see we're back getting a missile weapon, so we've got 27 of the damn things. But we've got a nice chunk of extra scrap. Let's go Yeah. And what will we find? No, okay. Don't hire anyone. No, I don't want to hire anyone. It's kind of a disappointing waste. Um, we're probably going to drop down to here, and then it looks like we'll be dashing for the exit, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got? An ion stunner. Another gun. Interesting. Let's have a look. We've got enough to afford sticking it on. It takes 10 seconds to charge. Stuns crew inside rooms. The disable systems and stuns crew. So it's a slightly upgraded version of the basic ion thing. So if 
for a greater point of view, it's not going to be too bad. I mean, I'll leave it on the backup. I don't think I'm going to spend points on getting it working um, because I think our resisting rigs are not too bad. But if we do take any damage to our gun systems, having one that only costs one um, just to keep firing and just knocking their shields down a little bit and just causing a little bit of extra damage, I think it's going to be pretty good. Because I think when it hits the shields, it may also stun the guy in the shield room. So that might be quite handy. Uh, is there anything else we want to spend any points on on the immediate? I think I will probably have a look at the map. And, yep, next episode we'll have a look what's in there. Okay, so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. We're keeping ahead of the Red Hover fleet just into Sector 5. We're going to be finding out what's waiting for us at the Guardian Portal in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a 5-minute burst of FTL. Please remember to like and subscribe.